ESP. <laughs> and I looked at him, <laughs> you know, and I thought, oh, what a beautiful thing, because maybe one day it'll be like that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one day it will be that. <laughs> SPs, like they'll just read about those in the history books, you know. <laughs> the thing is, I just go through that tech, and it's it literally, it's it's not how to run from an SP. It's PTS SP, how to shatter suppression, confront shatter suppression. You apply it, it's like boom. Because they don't come up to me and do that. Uh, they won't do it to me, not to my face, you know, or anywhere in my vicinity where they feel they can be. All right, ready? Okay, so what brought you out here today? Okay, I was in third Scientology for 30 years. That's a long time. I woke up in 2000, I, I realized it was a con, and I left, right? And I've been speaking out ever since against their abuses, okay, which are stopping free speech, breaking up families, and now lying about me and other ex-members, and other abuses, right? <laughs> so, now these guys are all, I don't represent Anonymous, but I'm totally for them, man. They are cool. Oh, that yeah. 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 These guys are so cool. They're for free speech, and that's what I'm for, man. So I'm here. What kind of things did you see on the inside? They, I was at the very top. It's like a triangle. I was in like a top secret mafia where they had no me more out. Web tits or get the fuck out. <laughs> where they had me out opening up phony accounts so they could slam the internet, spam it, stop free speech. So don't talk about anonymous like these guys are doing something bad. Scientology's got their own real bad skeletons in there. What kind of? And I was one of them who did it, so I speak from experience. Yeah, Tori, all right. Yeah. Yeah. What Hi, David Miscavige. I told you an army was coming, and here they are. Yeah. <laughs> I said that in 2000. I said there's an army that's coming. It won't be the ex-Scientologists who bring down Scientology. And hello, did he listen to me? No. What do you think of these guys? What do you think of their plight? I think they're awesome. I mean, it's like they're for, they, they, all they're doing is exposing the abuses of Scientology. That's their thing. And I'm for that. So you told me a little bit about some of the, some of the stuff they're doing online. What are some of the foul play that's been going online with uh, Scientology? Well, they go on, there's a news group called Alt Religion Scientology. What they do, they had me open up phony accounts. They didn't tell me they were doing this because that's how totalitarianism works, where you won't, the right hand doesn't know what the left hand's doing. But I went out, opened these accounts. They went on the net and wrote like thousands of phony posts to drive hot topics down. Anything they don't want seen, they just drive it down. Plus, they go in covertly, lie, pretend like they're anonymous, pretend like there's critics when they're not. And I watched that for years. That's what helped me wake up. It was like, this isn't why I got into Scientology. This isn't freedom. This is the opposite of freedom. And here's my horns, which I wear just because Scientology declared me a suppressive person. That's what happens if you speak out and you leave. They declare you a suppressive person. No one can talk to you. My husband, my ex-husband won't. None of my 30-year friends. That's it. What, um, what, was the, what was the breaking point? What got you out? The breaking for, for me was opening those phony accounts. I finally, I'm from Chicago. I grew up around the mafia. And I, they started acting real mafia-like, and I said, uh-uh. I went on the net and looked and saw they were spamming, called my friends, said, I can't do that. They turned on me, and that was the beginning of it. It's kind of a long story, but my friend in Norway helped me finally wake up. He said, if they're your friends, you know, what kind of friends could those be if they're going to leave you because you changed your mind? Were there any repercussions from your leaving? Have you Absolutely. Felt I've lost every single friend from 30 years. My ex-husband won't talk to me, but I've gained friends. Hello around the world! Yeah. 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 More great justice! So it's, yeah. it's, it's fantastic. I love the internet. I love these people. I'm all for free speech. And Scientology, David Miscavige, I told you in 2000, get with the program. There's an army coming. Here they are! And we're here. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Great. Great. The sum of suppression we could ever muster is eclipsed by that of your own RTC. Knowledge is free. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.